You must have heard about Fibonacci sequence. They are a series of numbers in which each number, that is Fibonacci number, is the sum of the two preceding numbers. So the series will be 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 3 plus 2 is equal to 5, 3 plus 5 is equal to 8, 13, 21, 34 and so on. But did you know that Fibonacci sequence exists everywhere around us? Alan Turing is famed as the mathematician who helped cut short World War II by two years with his work cracking Germany's Enigma code. But he made another remarkable lesser known contribution to science, a mathematical theory, now proved correct that explains all of nature's patterns. In the natural world, some shapes and patterns recur time and time again, from the immense cosmic spirals of galaxies right down to the circles of dividing cells in an embryo. Turing even worked out that the patterns produced in nature can be predicted by certain mathematical equations. One such wonder of mathematics is the Fibonacci sequence, which can be found in many natural entities and patterns occurring in nature. Scientists and mathematicians all over the world have been able to explain many natural phenomena using Fibonacci series. The pattern created by the spiraling out of the Fibonacci numbers, the golden spiral, can be seen throughout the nature. It is seen in the growth pattern of coral, the graceful uncurling of a fern, the silken web of a spider, the dimensions of a sand dollar and of course in the spiral of a shell, particularly the chambered nautilus. The shape of the nautilus and other spiraling shells has been the muse of many architects. Spiral staircases in lighthouses and the beautiful patterns in Gothic cathedrals inspired by nature follow the sequence. Inspired by the Japanese wonder shell, Frank Lloyd Wright designed New York's Guggenheim Museum. Why does nature follow the pattern of this sequence? According to Dan Riesch at Temple University, Department of Mathematics, the spirals arise from a property of growth termed self-similarity, the tendency to increase in size but maintain the same overall shape. In the simplest terms, nature favours this sequence because it works. It is the framework of nature, the most efficient way to grow strong stable structures using as little energy as possible. The Fibonacci defines how the density of branches increases up a tree trunk, the arrangement of leaves on a stem and how a pine cone's scales are arranged. Yet, you will not see the Fibonacci everywhere, as nature has many different methods and shades of survival. The Fibonacci sequence is found all throughout nature. It is a natural occurrence that different things develop based upon the sequence. The first is shells. The Fibonacci spiral directly corresponds to the spiral found in seashells. Shells follow the progressive proportional increase of the Fibonacci sequence. Shells are probably the most famous example of the sequence because the lines are very clean and clear to see. The second is trees. Tree, we see them everywhere. But do you look and analyze the structure of how the branches grow out of the tree and each other? No, because you're normal and have better things to do. But if you did, you would see the Fibonacci sequence evolve out of the trunk as spiral and grows taller as the tree becomes larger. Some truly majestic trees are in existence today, utilizing this pattern. The Fibonacci defines how the density of branches increases up a tree trunk, the arrangement of leaves on a stem and how a pine cone's scales are arranged. The third is flower pistils. 
The part of the flower in the middle of the petals, that is the pistil, follows the Fibonacci sequence much more intensely than other pieces of nature. But the result is an incredible piece of art. The pattern formed by the curve the sequence creates used repeatedly produces a lovely and intricate design. In the case of sunflower, the pineapple and of the pine cone, the correspondence with the Fibonacci numbers is very exact. Furthermore, when one observes the heads of sunflower, one notices two curves, one winding in one sense and one in another, the number of spirals not being the same in each sense. The number of spiral in general, either 21 and 34, either 34 and 55, either 55 and 89, or 89 and 144. The same for pine cones. They have either 8 spirals from one side and 13 from the other side, or either 5 spirals from one side and 8 from the other. Finally, the number of diagonals of a pineapple is also 8 in one direction and 13 in the other. For a long time, it had been noticed that these numbers were important in nature, but only relatively recently that one understands why. It is a question of efficiency during the growth process of plants. The fourth is flower petals. Flowers of all kinds follow the pattern, but roses are the best to use as an example of the Fibonacci sequence because the petals aren't spread out and the spiral is more obvious and clear, like with the shell. The petals unfold more and more and the sequence increases. The number of petals in a flower is often one of the following numbers 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34 or 55. For example, the lily has 3 petals, buttercups have 5 of them. Shikori has 21 of them, the daisy has often 34 or 55 petals, etc. The fifth is leaves. Leaves follow Fibonacci both when growing off branches and stems and in their veins. I personally find the veins much more interesting and amazing to look at. Similar to a tree, leaf veins branch off more and more in the outward proportional increments of the Fibonacci sequence. When growing off the branch, Fibonacci can be viewed in their stems as well as their veins. The more they grow outward, the higher the Fibonacci sequence is visible. The leaves of a plant are arranged in such a way that the maximum number can spiral around the stem before a new leaf grows directly above it. This ensures that each leaf receives the maximum amount of sunlight and catches as much rain as possible. The next is storms. Specifically, hurricanes and tornadoes, many storm systems follow the Fibonacci sequence. The eye of a hurricane is very silent and is considered the breaking point of the storm. After the eye hits, you have a wind hitting in the opposite direction. The eye of the storm is like the 0 or 1 in the Fibonacci sequence. As you go on, in the counterclockwise spiral you find it increasing at a consistent pattern. The seventh is you. Yes, you are an example of the beauty of the Fibonacci sequence. The human body has various representations of the Fibonacci sequence proportions from your face to your ear to your hand and beyond. You have now been proven to be mathematically gorgeous. So go forth and be beautiful. And maybe think that math is a little better than you first thought. The Fibonacci sequence is all about growth. You take the information you have beforehand to get the next piece of information. This is a very simple way of generating growth quickly and explains why the Fibonacci numbers appear in nature so often. The sequence is applicable to the growth of all living things from a single plant cell to a honeybee's family tree. Nature relies on simple operations to build immensely complex, often beautiful structures and the Fibonacci sequence reflects this. 
only as recently as 1993 were the Fibonacci numbers scientifically proven to exist in nature and there is still much to learn. Share this video to share this amazing information. Let us know in the comments section which fact you liked the most. Stay tuned for the upcoming videos about other mind-blowing concepts and facts. We'll see you in the next video. Share the video and subscribe to our channel for more such information and lots of fun.